what is it like trying to improve on a game like Call of Duty 4? It's a hugely daunting task. You know, there's a uh, the game exploded past you know our wildest expectations. You know, which is a curse and a blessing at the same time. You know. There's a lot of fans out there that have supported us, you know, for going on two years now. So you want to make sure you deliver to them an experience that's not disappointing in any way. And, you know, us ourselves, you know, we're huge gamers. We play our own game. You know, we want to build an experience that, you know, we're proud to put our name on. So, you know, it's something that we put a lot of effort into. We took very seriously. Well, nice. Yeah, you're off the, the multiplayer kind of you know blew up. There's so many new uh, kind of features. There's uh, the customizable kill streaks. There's death streaks. There's uh, more creative class. There's customization within that. There's uh, multiple attachments. There's power ups on the perks. You can level your perks. So there's just a ton of new features that kind of expand the experience from the last game. Oh. Copycat is great, and I'm, I'm, I have to say, I'll admit, I've used it myself a few times. We have some guys in the office that are that are mutants. I don't think they're human. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, Copycat's great because, you know, you're kind of in this mode where you're, you're getting trashed and you just say, you know, I want to be on an equal playing field with that guy. Let's see what I can do. So you copy his loadout. Now, it's equal. So you know, you know, truly, am, am I as good as him? Can I take him down with what he's using? Is it just his loadout that's better or is he better? You know, it gives you a kind of a, a good insight into what they're doing. How do you make sure that all these things that you come up with actually end up working? It's a ton of trial and error. You know, we put things in and we, we change the way they work. And you know, with uh, with the riot shield, you can't shoot. So now you're you know you can you can melee with it. So if you get up close to somebody, you can use it as a weapon. But you know, you are limited in what you can do. So it's really well balanced, and it, it is really about playing the game, going through it, trying something. We, we're very iterative in what we do, in both the single player and the multiplayer. But it's you know especially important on that multiplayer where you want to get in there and see what works and what doesn't and what feels right. It, it really is a lot of kind of feeling. It's driven by feeling and driven by kind of play. We don't put uh, vehicles in the multiplayer. It's just not the focus of what we're trying to do. We're about that infantry combat, that you know smaller close, it's got a tight knit experience where you can have good funnel points and have good flows to the map. You know, a vehicle game, you know, while it can be fun, it's it's not what we're trying to do. It changes kind of the dynamic of the game. You think you'll ever do that? Um, anything's possible. How many maps do you guys anticipate shipping the game with? Um, a good amount. It's Over 12? There are a lot of fun maps. Have you reworked any of the old Call of Duty formats for this game? There are a lot of fun maps. <laughs> Do you have a couple map packs coming out exclusively for 360? Have you worked on anything like that on the Sony side? Uh, they're coming out first on the 360. They'll be available on the PS3 as well. Right, but do you have any exclusive maps set aside for the PlayStation 3 where they'll come out first for that system? Oh, uh, we don't currently, no. We're trying not to flood, you know, the market with media. We want there to be, you know, less things out there, but of better quality. So, you know, we want we want you to anything you look at. It's not confusing. There's not a hundred different versions of a hundred different videos. It's just, you know, here's what the game is. You know, we have a few things out there that really explain what this game is and let people look at it and get the game. We want to make an, enough information that you see the game, you realize it's good, you want to play it, but not. You know, it doesn't ruin those story moments that, you know, from the game. We really put a lot into the story and, and extension of, of Modern Warfare. This really is the first time we've done a sequel. So we want that story to be you know, pristine as possible to the players. What can you tell us about the single player? Uh, the single player is great. I mean, it, it's a sequel to the, to the last game, which is great. So you know, there's characters in it from the previous game. You know, you'll get to expand on some of those stories. You'll see how actions from the last game really affect the world and the state of what the, the world is in this game. So it's really, it's, it's a great experience. It, it's an interactive action movie. I mean, it's, it's just a, a fun, thrilling, emotional ride. Better than Call of Duty 4 single player. Uh, it is. Yeah? It is. This event's been sponsored by Xbox 360, they showed their bundle today. Are you guys doing anything special with the PlayStation 3 version of the game? Uh, we do not have a special bundle for PS3, no. They, you know, Microsoft came to us with this opportunity on the 360 and you know we loved it. Was that all a decision made solely on Microsoft coming to you guys or was that a decision that you guys made? Um, we've partnered with Microsoft for you know various things and you know, it, 
for the press conference at E3, for the hardware bundle. For, so they've just been a great partner to us, and you know, that's how it worked out. Demo in the works? Um, right now, we're working on you know kind of the last bug fixing, tweaking, tuning. You know, so we'll we'll see once we get from there. You know, kind of where we end up. What do you have to say to those people that are so dedicated to this franchise? Um, I think they will be blown away with what they get in Modern Warfare 2. So they should not be scared to come over. You know, we're kind of feature locked. Everything's there that we're going to ship with. It's just a matter of making it perfect. <laughs>